Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So this is day three. Um, plan for today is going to be get back to the wiki up shelter and work on the back side of the roof and make a fire. Have some bannock. I'm trying a new recipe. Uh, bacon and cheese. And yeah, I got a cool idea for the roof so I'll show you guys. Alright, so I just got back to the wiki up. Here's what's on the bed. The hares are really liking this bed. They've been eating all the boughs and leaving some some crap all over in the shelter. So they like it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to clean this all up, remove all the, the boughs, and I'll probably just leave the withies for now. So cattails are sweet because they have long, long, flat and narrow leaves. So if you layer them at above 60 degrees, the water will just fall on here and then go down. You can kind of see it how, how that would be effective. The issue, the issue with cattails and just about any um, natural materials here, even like spruce boughs and evergreen boughs, is that they're extremely flammable. So the good layer of logs, you got to throw a really good layer of logs. I'm going to do mostly the back of the shelter where it's far away from the fire. So I'm going to throw them right back here and the logs will protect from any flames or sparks. So here's why these are cool too, great isolation because they're spongy and they, they contain air so air pockets that's what keeps heat inside so they got they make for a good good mat too again it's flammable so you got to be careful but it's not too cold today so it's a good day to work on this it's about minus two minus three should warm up to up to zero so i think i'm going to one more, one more piece here. Good. So once you got a good bunch, I tried it on these two already, like this. I sharpened up a branch, sharpened up a branch, and just put my bundles through like a, like a needle, just above my knot. And then they'll, they'll hold in, the, in there real good. This is my bundle, I got four. If I can do a few of these, the water will just flow down. Dry grass really burns well. Nice and dry, I had it in my pocket too. Can't wait to see how this bannock will turn out. It's a new recipe I'm trying. Well, it's the same basic recipe as my previous video, but I added bacon pieces and some cheddar cheese. So you can you can see here. The bush bed makes for a perfect pot hanger. So I just discovered something pretty cool with these wider, bigger cattails. I don't even have to tie them. I can just got to go a bit high so they don't split at the top. But I can just put them in like this, and uh, I'm gaining like a ton of time. They hold enough. Like I don't need to, this to be like so solid because I'll 
it'll just be there and then I'll just basically put a log over it to hold everything together and that'll be the end of it like this one it's really wide so it'll go in like right there no problem it's not cooked yet but look at this cheese man yeah buddy it's almost cooked just tasting this right now Barrack's catching on fire. Man, that's good. Look at this thing, it's pretty badass looking. It's about as high as me. What's cool too about cattails is that right now it's winter so they're all dried up and already their seeds are already all done and even by cutting them I just take the, the dead part of it and the rhizome's still there so they'll regrow no problem next year and uh, they're not a rare plant or anything out here they're extremely abundant so it's just a good overall material it's one of my one of my favorite plants in the boreal forest. These logs will help hold everything in place. That's what the shelter looks like now with the the cattails and all the logs. Ideally I'd put more cattails but that'll be for another time. See from inside you can't really see much light anymore from here to there. That means that's well well covered. Next step will be more that side. This will be pretty much the last video for the Wikiup shelter building. If I come back out here, I'll be just adding more wood, more cattails, and hanging around. But the whole building phase is all done. So, got a bed, got a roof, got walls and stuff. So, alright, guys, have a good one. Bye.